So if you want to use keyframe to do an animation like this where a boy approached a snake and then turned back immediately when he saw the snake and the snake was tired of chasing the boy so the snake turned back so it's easy to do this to animate this what we'll do is we'll choose the background we want to work on so we prefer white white is always preferable for animating or to do explainer videos or a lot of it you need a white background so you can say i'm extending the white background to as long as you can just extend it to enough timeline maybe to 10 minutes or 8 minutes because you don't want it to be disturbing you when you start editing the video itself or start creating the animation so you extend it as much as possible so as you can see i have about four minutes on the timeline there for my background where i'll be working on so it's not going to be longer than a four minute video it might be less so but it's good to just have enough background there so the first thing you do is like as usual you have to get your um your background images or everything you're working on so you can get your free png images those are png images you can get png images like the snake i had was downloaded from stickpng.com so you can download um your images from that place or from so many other that just free websites you can download images from okay so i downloaded that snake from a particular website so it's just stock footage, any stock footage or any website. The ones I called Stick PNG is a, a free one. It's not like um, the ones you need to pay for. So I just downloaded the snake. As you can see, originally the, the snake is facing the left hand side. So, but you can always tweak it and then switch the direction of the snake. I'll show you how to do that. So we want our scene here to have a snake and then a boy was approaching the snake and then the snake too was approaching the boy because the boy was coming from a far distance so he could not see the snake so we are adding the boy now to the scene the boy did not see the snake because they were far apart so until the boy got closer to the snake as he saw the snake he turned and started going the other direction you could do it in a way where the boy just moves very quickly so that it shows that he's scared as you can see to animate it will require keyframe so you select the clip of the boy and then you see at the left hand side one key button you click on it once you click on it, you can see that white dot that appeared on the red clip to move the image or to make the image move you move the clip forward then you move the image also forward okay so wherever that white dot is is where you move your clip once you move your clip the white dot appears so you are moving the um, character to the direction where you want it to stop so you keep doing that once you move it you move your clip and then the white dot appears so you at this point the boy turned back so to do that you have to cut this clip into two okay so that one will be for him moving forward and one will be for him moving backward and i'm sure you know how to cut a clip you just split it so the next thing we'll do is to move to the next one which is the snake we need to animate the snake so we've animated boy to move forward from that back side to the to the front so the snake you can see is facing another direction so what do we do we have to make it face the other way so we'll look for the rotate or the mirror um key you can see we have to mirror it okay so we mirrored the snake to face forward so we'll still use the same keyframe okay why the clip of the snake is selected you click on the keyframe and then you keep moving the snake you can see how we are moving the snake once you move the snake you move the clip you move the snake you move the clip so that way you're animating it it's going to be moving in that direction when you play the video so at this point you are going to they've met each other but they're not entirely together they're not close to each other so we are going to split the clip of the we are going to work on the split clip of the boy so at this point the boy saw the snake and had to turn back so we are going to the second clip and we are going to keyframe that but before we do that the boy has to face the other direction and what do we do we'll click on the rotate and then mirror this boy to face the other side so mirroring just changes the direction of the boy you can see so to make the boy move to that direction we'll use keyframe again select the clip and then click click on that keyframe um, button by the left okay you can see so you add the key keyframe 
you move the boy just normal movement just keep trying this it might not be easy or um, once i'm as, as as i'm explaining it might not be easy straight up but just keep trying it you figure it out you move the character you move your clip you move the character you move your clip so that way you'll be seeing these white dots adding the point at which the boy is going to move or stop so the next thing is to animate the snake to keep following the boy so use keyframe again for the snake you select the snake then the keyframe then keep moving the snake forward you move the clip then you move the keyframe you add the keyframe so as you're moving the snake forward you're moving the clip forward also so you can see it's adding the keyframe so you keep doing that until the boy has reached a reasonable distance so at this point the snake is going to be tired of chasing the boy so we have to cut the clip for us to make the snake move back if we do anything like this is going to affect it so what we'll do is go back and then we'll cut this clip into two so we'll split it so that we can animate the snake moving backwards okay so we'll use this rotating and slash mirror functionality to make the snake face backward so we are working on this clip with the snake facing backward then we'll still do the same animating we'll animate the snake by with the keyframe to move backwards so you can see select it just move select and move so that's just it is basically very easy to animate once you know how to work on your keyframe so i hope with this i explained you should be able to um do lots of animating there's there's no limits to animating with kind master once you know how to use the keyframe feature you can see how beautiful this looks you can use it to animate anything you want to animate any single thing you want to animate if it's i know some people might want to animate using all those hand symbols and all those anything you want to animate text if you want to move text from one part of the screen to the other if you want to move objects from one part of the screen to the other you just need keyframe so if you didn't really get it you can move back take the video back and then try to figure out how it works but hopefully with the explanation you know how to use keyframe so thank you for watching this video see you next time don't forget to subscribe